Titan Support System sells the highest performing gear in the land with the Super NXG Plus material. You will get unsurpassed performance. Now leading the way with the Katana Ben shirt, which is breaking records across the board in just about every contest. If you have an arch or a flat back bench presser, Titan has a shirt for you. Get a custom shirt from Titan to maximize your lifting performance and potential. From bench shirts to knee wraps to squat shoes, TitanSupport.com has what you need. Call toll free 1 800 627 3145 or go to TitanSupport.com. This December 1st and 2nd, Pure Powerlifting will host the USAPL American Open Powerlifting and Bench Press Championships. This open event is a national USAPL level event where the winner of the open divisions will win a spot at the Women's and Men's National Championships. This event will be hosted in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and the team at Pure Powerlifting is looking at, ru looking at running a, an affordable and an entertaining event, including announcing skills of Nico Hoslander and a DJ to keep the place rocking. Check out our event website at purepowerlifting.com for applications and more information. See you December 1st and 2nd in Scranton, Pennsylvania for the 2007 American Open. GarageInkPowerlifting.com is a Titan support gear distributor located in Pennsylvania. Nico is the owner of GarageInkPowerlifting.com and is a national and international powerlifting who has the experience and knowledge to get you the gear that's right for you. GarageInkPowerlifting.com is also the host of the USAPL Pennsylvania State Single Lift Bench Press and Deadlift Championships on May 26, 2007 in Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania. Go to GarageInkPowerlifting.com or call 717-779-5622. Brown's Gym, located in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. This facility has over 10,500 square feet of workout space with 52,000 pounds of weight, 60 cardiovascular machines, a steam room, a sauna room, beautiful oak lockers and locker rooms, more aerobic classes, 300 machines, over 60 classes a week, and a playroom for your children while you work out. Brown's Gym offers the lowest prices guaranteed and never initiation fee. Brown's Gym is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for your convenience. No more excuses. Brown's Gym, Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. So, I don't know, I don't know what politically can happen or what needs to happen other than um, possibly if we can get some sort of, you know, mediation or some type of, even, uh, it's bad to say, but sometimes money talks and if you get a, a, a company to come in and say, yeah, I'll, I'll sponsor your nationals or your, your national team, but you've got to, you know, unify or you've got to get your numbers up and be able to do something politically to pull it all together. So I don't. I'm sure it's, it's, you know, it's like boxing. It's got so many sanctions, sanctioning bodies, but there's money behind each one of them, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought, too, that the USPL linked up with IPF, that that would help draw more of a national field to our national championships because that was the way to a truly, quote, national, you know, international, you know, championship, so, or we're being a world champion, so. But that hasn't really materialized the way that I would think it, that I thought it would. Yeah, and, and the, the kicker is, like, the USPF has continued, and, and and they're still lifting within the same criteria, the IPF, just without the drug testing. Right. Uh, they're kind of sitting on the, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's sitting, but they're, they're aligning themselves to, to reunite with the IPF in a way, uh, to wait for the USA bill to slip up or whatever, um, but, you know, it's, it's all politics when it comes to that type of thing, you know, because USPF could very well drug test. I mean, it's not outside the realm, and that, I thought that was part of the reason why they had so many problems uh, with their lack of drug testing. Yeah, there was financial issues, too, to go with that, from what I heard, so. But yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah, they had a lot of, they had a lot of uh, skeletons in their closet that they couldn't get rid of. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, you know, because there's, there was a, I mean, I mean, I lifted USPF in the 96 Senior Nationals in Philadelphia, one of the last, like, major ones before they got bumped out. And it was a great show. Great, great, great contest. 
uh, and they they had drug testing in it, you know, and um, you know I was I was holding up the bottom, so I I wasn't one of the folks drug tested, but there was definitely drug testing that happened, and uh, I can't talk to whether it was good or not good or whatever, but um, you know it was they were it appeared from my perspective, my you know 20 year old eyes that they were doing everything they were supposed to be doing. You know, they can, you know, and just like within the U.S. with different federations, you know, uh, there's for some reason just contempt between, like, organizations or he said, she said things. And and like you said, it's not worth getting into with as far as, uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't help. You're lifting. It doesn't help promote the sport. So it's just bad, to, bad business to even dig, dig it up. But within every organization we have a few folks that just it's kind of their thing so it it, it well, and then it kind of feeds on itself and it's just kind of like just it just <laughs> and yeah. there's no purpose to it so yeah yeah i um i kind of just like jason I, I don't kind of get into all that stuff i hear about it but yeah but i don't get wrapped up into it i just kind of just do it as more of a, as a challenge as a hobby and yeah. and and that being the military that you know my focus is my job so right. uh, and so if I do have time to train and focus for a meet and I'll do it and see what happens and if, and see how, how that goes and I just take it you know basically a, a day by day yeah. and uh, so uh, you know uh, when I left the military in 2003 I was transitioned to a new job you know, new house so I kind of took it easy and then, and then things kind of settled in 2004 and I said well let me see if I can get back in competitive lifting and uh, started training and uh, started that, that cycle again. So uh, so I've been pretty surprised I'm able to hit some, I've had some PRs actually in my bench and my, in my uh, squat, uh, you know, since age, uh, age 44. <laughs> so, uh, so I, so I, I said, well, if I still got something in the tank, I'm still going to push it. <laughs> for joining us here at purepowerlifting.com. A little shoeshine boy never gets low down, but he's got the dirtiest job in town. Bending low out the people's feet on a windy corner of a dirty street. Well, I asked him while he shined my shoes, how'd he keep 